He's got $70 to his name. God tells him to move back home and buy a television station. That's right. $70? Uh, the Lord gave me the only word it was to go to your home and tell what great things the Lord has done for you. Mm -hmm. I traveled down there, and when I got there, a man said, uh, we have this little church. Would you like to come and preach for a Sunday service? I said, okay, I'll, I'll do that. And when I got through preaching, he said, look, we'd like to buy time on the radio station to put you on the air for a week. I said, okay, I've, I've never been on radio before. I'll do that. And uh, I was, the next day, it was a Monday, I was on the way to the radio station. I stopped at the post office, and here was a man that I hadn't seen for 17 years. I'd gone to grade school with, his name was George Lauderdale. And I said, well, what are you doing? He said, I just had a, a dream that I should come from Norfolk to 230-some miles to Lexington because God said, I, I, you're not finished. There's something I want you to do. And I said, well, what are you doing? I'm getting ready to go to the radio station. Hey, would you like to go? He said, sure. So he got on the car with me. He said, look, there's a TV station. Uh, would you like to claim it for the Lord? Well, I didn't even own a TV set. <laughs> So you really knew a lot about TV. Oh, man, I was a pro, <laughs> honestly. And But he, I said, George, I can't run television. He said, oh, yeah, you can. It's easy. You just, you just go in and turn the cameras on and put the lights on. Everything's easy. I said, are you sure? Oh, yeah, it won't be any problem. <laughs> um, so I said, okay. I went down to the football field where I'd played a little bit of football as a sophomore in high school. And I was walking there, and God spoke to me, and he gave me uh, a number uh, on so many thousand dollars, and uh, I got I got an appointment with General Sarnoff, who was the head of RCA, giant sure. corporation, and I went into his office and I said, I want, I'm a buyer. I'm a buyer. And he said, you don't sound like much buyer to me. What do you want? <laughs> so I said, well, I want, I, I want to buy this station. I said, well, how much will you give for it? I said, I give $37,000, which is what the Lord told me. The good news is we went on the air on that station, and uh, we had one TV camera that had caught fire. Uh, we had... We had an old rotten out curtain, the curtain, you know, dry rot behind me. And I'd taken a couple of pieces of cardboard and put them together to make a cross. And we had a cross on the thing up there behind me. And we put this one camera on the air and uh, one kilowatt transmitter. And we went on the air. And we didn't have a monitor, so in order to see if we were on the air, I used to, I had to run down to the street to this convenience store to look at their TV to see if we were on oh, wow. uh, <laughs> Tell me, the la last, just the last calendar year, yeah. how many people received the Messiah through, uh, through your television? About 85 million. Uh, did you get that? <laughs> Eight, last, that's just the last year. 85 million. Uh, now, you told me before we went on the yeah. air, you have so many miracles happening yes. there that uh, you can't verify everyone anymore, but you still uh, do a lot of them. We've received over 100 million prayer requests, 100 million. Mm. And of those, I would say that about a million, 250,000 miracles have taken 